Hey guys, it's Jamie Valmay here from youngwifesguide.com and welcome back to my YouTube channel and my YouTube show, YWG TV. I am back to talk about one of my most popular topics and that is traveler's notebooks. So I did a video last year sharing about how I am using traveler's notebooks and I have three different ones. I use one for personal and I showed a video, a look inside that, my calendar, my to-do list, cleaning list for within my home. So that's my personal one. My second one is the one I use for my business. And then my third and newest one is my spiritual disciplines notebook. So we just launched all the inserts for this this week. And because of that, I've been having a ton of questions when it comes to traveler's notebooks how to use them, how do you assemble them, how do you make the inserts. So in today's video, we're gonna be doing kind of a tutorial for traveler's notebooks. So this is kind of your introduction and how to make them. So if you're interested in traveler's notebooks, this tutorial today is gonna to show you how to make them. Okay, so let's jump in. The very first thing you need to know is, what is a traveler's notebook? I had no idea what this term meant until about two years ago, my friend Mackenzie Monroe from Cultivating the Lovely, she introduced me to traveler's notebooks. I've been hooked ever since. I use them for all my planning. I keep everything in here. So basically what a traveler's notebook is, is it's a leather portfolio, basically a leather cover, and inside it, you put individual notebooks. So what I love about this is that you have each individual notebook that's a different thing. So for instance, in my personal one that I use for my family, I have one of them's a yearly calendar. One of them, one notebook is a daily to-do list. One of them is my meal planning. And so I have notebooks for different things. The beauty of this is once you fill one up or you know it's the next year, you can put in your new calendar for next year and nothing changes. You don't have to throw the calendar away that you've already been using. Everything's in here. When you fill up your to-do list, you just print out or buy and stick in a new to-do list. And so it's highly customizable, it, but it gives me enough space for everything because I just, uh, traditional planners were not working for me. I needed more space and I needed to be able to carry things with me and have it work better. So that is essentially what a traveler's notebook is. I mean, people use traveler's notebooks for absolutely everything. So I have five notebooks in here. People use them for everything, doodling. I mean, anything you can think of. This is just how I personally use them. This has become my planner. So this one, personally, this is my spiritual disciplines. So this one holds prayer, a prayer request notebook. It has a gratitude journal, sermon notes, Bible study notes, and scripture writing. So this is the one I keep with me. It sits next to my Bible. This is where I keep track of all that stuff. It works really well. So come, some of the questions I keep asking, getting asked are, what sizes do I use? Where do you get one? And how to assemble the notebook. So I'm gonna give you actually a full tutorial where I'm gonna show you how to do those in just a second. But I wanted to talk about sizes. Okay, when I first started looking for traveler's notebooks, I was a thousand percent overwhelmed because there's a hundred million different sizes of traveler's notebooks. And it was, I was completely overwhelmed. So what the size I use, this is called standard size. So that makes it really easy to remember. This is the standard size. And all of the inserts that I use are specially designed for this. They do have a personal size, which are about half the size. They have passport size, which I believe is actually a little bit smaller than that. Um, and so I know a lot of people love the personal size. It's only about this big. And it just is not enough room for me. I tried the personal size. I thought, oh, I could throw those in my purse. They're too small. These are large enough without being too bulky that, I mean, I mean, when you look inside here, you have got a really good spreadsheet. So if you're taking your to-do list, if you're doing like this one's a Bible study note page, there's plenty of room in here to write. And so this ends up being a really good size. So this is standard size. My favorite notebooks to buy are called Webster's Pages. And I have links down below for everything. But my personal favorite, they're called Webster's Pages. They're my favorite for a couple of reasons. Number one, they're very affordable. So this is not real leather. Uh, there's a ton out there that are real leather. There's a couple brands that I have drooled over before and they are 80, 90, $130 just for the cover. These covers tend to be $30 brand new, but I can often find them for 15 or 20 bucks. Like this one was 17 on sale. 
So it makes it really affordable considering you're gonna use this cover over and over and over again. When you buy one cover, you basically don't ever need to buy another one. It's not like when you spend $50 on a new planner and then you have to buy one every single year. All you have to do is redo the inserts inside. And like, I just print all of mine at home on my printer. And so it becomes really affordable. So Webster's Pages, you can find them at Joann's and Michael's, which is great. Cause if you wanna go in store and look at the sizes, get your hands on it, see what they feel like. Uh, Joann's carries many different versions of it. And I believe Michael's carries them as well, but I'm not positive on that. And they also have them on Amazon, but my favorite place is an online store called Blitzy. And I do have links below. Blitzy carries all kinds of planning accessories, that kind of thing. And that's where I bought all of my planner planning, all my TNs. TN is short for Traveler's Notebook. I buy all my TNs there because you can find them on sale. So like I said, this one was 17. I don't think I've paid more than $23 for any of my different ones. And I've bought a lot because I bought them as presents. Like I just gave my sister for her birthday, I gave her one of these. And then a different sister for Christmas, I gave her one. And so I tend to try to like look for the $20 market. You can also go onto Etsy and type in traveler's notebooks, you can find a ton of fabric ones, a ton of homemade ones. I mean, you can get really, really creative and there's some really cool fabric ones that have all kinds of fun prints. So the fun thing is you can really express your own personality through these. So I'm gonna show a couple different examples of the ones I have. So this is a Webster's Pages. This is a discontinued print. They no longer have this nice brown. Um, I love it because it's very timeless, classic, and it's got this really pretty pink on the inside. This is a patch that I stuck on, so that doesn't doesn't normally have it on it. Uh, this is a discontinued one. So my Prima planner, P R. IMA, they have a brown that's very similar and it's the same size. So I'll link to that below if you like this brown, but I wanna show you a peek inside a couple of my other ones. Okay, this is one I got this last year. This is also Webster's Pages and I love it. These are my colors, you guys. I like floral, can you tell? So I absolutely love this one. This is one of their newer prints. They also have one that's like a light, like a teal, instead of the navy and it's got floral on it and that one's really pretty. And then they also have one that's a light gray background with like, I think like pink floral and that one's really pretty. So if you want one with like a pattern, it's really pretty. And then the inside of this one is just navy and white. So it's very classic. Okay, another one I have is just this hot pink. This one's a fuchsia one, I believe. This is also Webster's Pages. Oh, I was telling you why I really like Webster's Pages. Now, the second reason is that inside, they have four bands. It comes with four bands. A lot of them you find come standard with one or two bands and you have to pay extra for the other bands. So I love that it already comes with four because I can pretty much fit everything I want in it. You can buy additional bands if you want to. All you have to do is thread them through the back and stick them in, but you can also layer your notebooks. So I only have four bands, but in my brown one, I actually have five notebooks in there because you can kind of layer the notebooks in there. Um, so that's one reason. Another reason I love Webster's Pages is it comes with a pen loop right here. So what I like to do in each one of my notebooks is keep a pen already in there. So you can see I've got a pen right here. It goes through the pen loop and it's there at all times. Again, a lot of the more expensive brands of, of Traveler's Notebooks, you have to pay like five or $10 extra for them to put a pen loop on it. This is already on it. So if you're looking for an affordable way I really like that. And then there's always cute little fun things you can add or just keep it simple. And so that is one of the other reasons. And then it already comes built in, whoops, with these little pockets, you can slip things in. It's got a pocket on this side. So it, I feel like it gives you a lot of room to grow into. So those are my Webster's Pages ones. And then this little beauty is my newest one. This one is my Prima Planner brand. So they call it, I think if you look for Prima, P-R-I-M-A, Traveler's Notebook, and I will include a link down below for this specific one. This is a newer print they came out with and I was drooling over it forever, but I didn't wanna spend $30 and I finally found it on sale at Blitzy for like 16 and I'm like, okay, fine, I'll get it. So I love this one. Uh, again, it's the standard size, so it fits in. I like to try, it's actually a teeny bit bigger, but the inserts are the same size and they have a couple really fun prints. Now. They, the Prima also offers the 
uh, personal size, I believe, so the much smaller size. And it's not always clear, I feel like in their descriptions, the Prima ones, which size it is. So just make sure you're really looking. But again, it comes with the, the pen loop and it comes with, oh, this one actually, Oh yes, this one comes with four bands. And then it comes with a couple notebooks as well. So this one's pretty comparable. You've got all the slots in here. Um, and this one's really cute. I like this one a lot. But this one's kind of a harder leather, whereas these are a little bit softer. So I think I kind of like the feel of the Webster's pages a little bit more, but these ones are really nice too. And you can't go wrong because they're very cute. They have a couple other, Prima has a couple other really cute patterns. And these tend to be, again, very similar pricing to the Webster's pages. And you can also find these at Joann's. I don't know what prints they have, but they carry these brands at Joann's. So that's kind of a quick intro. Of course, there's all kinds of other sizes that you can get into, but specifically talking about our inserts that we've released in our store, which you can find out more at joyfilledhomeplanner.com. Um, but all the inserts that we make are for the standard size. Okay, the last thing I wanna share are a couple of the things that you can get for your traveler's notebooks. So when you get your traveler's notebooks, so most of them, these brands that I'm telling you, come with a couple inserts themselves. So this one comes with this cute little blank one. And then it also came with a black one, which is kind of cool because it matches this one really well. And then you can put your own inserts in here. And these are just blank, blank pages. The Webster's pages come with a couple of these brown inserts. So they're not super cute, um, but they're just blank inside. So they work really well. The other thing you can purchase is Webster's pages has these notebooks that you can purchase. And when you find them at Blitzy on blitzy.com, you can usually find them for a few bucks a piece. Um, so they're not too bad, but they come with lined ones. They come with a grid, which I really like. And then the other option they have, if you're looking to use traveler's notebooks for your planning, is, and they they change their prints every year. So the, the prints that you find might be a little bit different, but they also have, this is a calendar. So I don't know if you can see, let me see where I filled it out. It's a blank calendar. And so you put in what month it is. And so this, if you don't wanna deal with printing your own inserts or writing them out, this is already a calendar for you. And you just stick it right in and it's perfect. And then, and I really like that. I like the calendar. This one is like a weekly to-do list. So this one's great and they usually come in a two pack. Um, so this one's great because it shows Monday, it has 8 a.m., 9, 10, 11, so it has like every day and the notes or every hour. I tend to like an entire page per day. I'm kind of weird and I like a lot of room, so I actually don't tend to use this layout very much, but that's a great option that it's already printed, it's already done, and you've got it right there. So I wanted to share those. I mean, there's a ton of other there's so many other inserts. You can go onto Etsy, you can find so many others, uh, but these come the right size for these. So it just makes it really handy. And then the very last thing is you can find these cute little guys. I got this on Amazon and it was like five bucks. Actually, I probably got it on Blitzy, but I can't remember. They have them on Amazon too. This is just a nice little guy that goes inside your notebooks. So you put it, Let's see if I can do this. You slip it in behind your notebooks. And so then on one side, this is like a zipper. So you can put anything you want in here. And this is like, you know, a baseball card insert type of thing where you can put stickers or little cards or anything you want. And so let me put it in here. Once you put it in, okay, watch, it fits right underneath. So here's one page. You flip it open, you go through your notebooks, and then in the back is this. And so it doesn't even take a band, you just slip it behind. Um, and so things like that can be really fun to help customize and just make these your own. You can, I mean, that's what I like, is you can literally do anything you want with these and customize it, use it however you want, it's perfect. Okay, so now the next thing I wanna show you, this is, took me a little while to figure out, is how do you make your own inserts? So you can find some free inserts online. You can go to Etsy and find a million different inserts. Or if you're interested in buying, we have for purchase all five of our inserts for our Spiritual Disciplines binder. And we're hopefully gonna be making more in the future for business and personal use, so keep a lookout. But if you're interested in buying our five inserts, well, how do you print them? How do you make them into a little booklet? It seems so complicated. At least it did to me when I was first trying to figure it out. It's very simple. Literally all you need is scissors. There's a couple extra things you can get that can be helpful, but really all you need is scissors and you can make your 
printables. You can make your little notebooks and it's far cheaper because even when you buy these, even if you can find them for three or four dollars a piece, if you're using a lot of them and over and over again, it's really nice to have the ability to have the file, print it out whenever you need it. As soon as you fill up, you know, your prayer request booklet, as soon as that is filled up, you print a new one, stick it in here and you're good to go. And so it becomes a very affordable option in that way and highly, highly customizable, which is why it has everything I need. So I know it can feel a little overwhelming. So we're gonna go ahead now and jump into a tutorial on how to actually make your notebooks. I'm gonna show you how to assemble your notebooks into little notebooks. So I've got the gratitude journal printed out here. Honestly, the only thing you have to have is a pair of scissors. If you have scissors, you can make these. I'm gonna share a couple tools that are gonna make this process a little bit easier, but if all you have is a pair of scissors, that's awesome. So the first thing I'm gonna use here is my paper cutter. You can pick these up for 20, 30 bucks. You can get a great one. This one I think was around 30. I've had it for years. I use it all the time. I use it for everything. It's awesome. It's got this arm right here. It makes cutting these so much faster and so much easier. So if you wanna get one of these, if you wanna cut these out by hand, you can totally do that. So if you don't have anything else, cutting by, with scissors will take a little bit longer, but if that's all you have, then you can totally make these. It's not a big deal. Don't let the stuff overwhelm you from doing this. Okay, so the first thing we wanna do is we wanna cut these down a little bit. You can see on the edges on here, it says the Joy Filled Home Gratitude Journal, page one. We're gonna cut these off, and you can, if you want, cut a little bit off the top and bottom. They will fit in like this, but I tend to cut a little bit off just so that they look a little nicer, but it's really up to you how much you wanna cut off. So that's your first step, is you're gonna take these, you can line them up, like I don't know if you can tell in the video, but right here, I can see the other side of this, so where it says page two. And so you're gonna use that as a guide. You're gonna go just right past where that's at. Cut it, cut it on this side. And then you've pretty much got the notebook right here. And then what you can do is if you can line it up, if you have other notebooks printed out, like here's one that's done, you can line it up and see, okay, like, on here you can tell there's like a half an inch. So if you wanna take a little bit off the top and bottom, you can. You are more than welcome to do that. So I have found that with a paper cutter like this, you can cut two to three pages worth very easily. So you can do two to three pages at once. And then when you're completely done cutting them all out, you're gonna have them, um, they're already printed in the correct order. So you just cut them in the same order. And then you're gonna have like this little notebook that you can fold together. If this is all you want to do, if you wanna just cut it, then you just keep it folded. I'm gonna show you how easy. What you can do inside your notebook is I cut out, this is another thing you can do, is I cut out a little cover for it. This is just cardstock, and I didn't measure it. I just put this, I laid it on top of the cardstock, cut it out, and then this cardstock, all it is is bent. Look, this cardstock's not stapled or anything. I just bent it, I put it in here. So what you can do, if you have no other tools, is you can just take your notebook, unstapled anything, and just slip it in here. The pages can be loose and it's gonna work just fine. So you can more, you're more than welcome to do that. That's why, that's why I said, all you need is a pair of scissors and you're fine, okay? So that makes it super simple. The other thing you can do, there's two other options for actually like binding your little notebook. You can see on mine, I have staples in here. Staples are my method of choice because they're simple, they're easy, and I don't know how to sew. If you have a sewing machine, you can sew a little line down the center and they hold together beautifully. Okay, the problem is that with a regular stapler, it's not the arm is not long enough to staple here in the middle. So what you wanna do is you wanna get one of these. This is called, oh, I gotta move it in focus. This is called a long arm stapler. It's great for making any type of booklet. I got this on Amazon, it was seven or eight bucks. And I use it all the time because I love making these inserts. So I think that's a worthy investment. Uh, you can find them at your office supply store. So what you do though then, is you can put them in here and line them up and they, they go long enough because it's a long arm. You can actually get it to where it's hitting the middle of the binding. And then you just staple it twice. You actually are gonna wanna staple it on this side if you want the the inside part of the staple to be on the inside, but you can actually do it either way. So then you just staple once, staple twice, 
and then you have your notebook. Or like I said, if you know how to sew, you can also sew the inside. But I love having the stapler. It makes it so, so easy. And then you just staple it and look, your notebook is done. So the, more, the most time consuming part is getting it cut out. And then once you cut it out, you've got it in this shape. And then all you have to do is add staples. Or like I said, if you don't have a stapler, if you don't know how to sew, you can just put them in loose. You don't even need to staple them. Okay, the very last thing I wanna share with you guys is if you see, can you tell what the difference between these two is? I don't know how well you can see. This is a square edge. This is just a piece of paper. This is a rounded edge. And that's what I've done in my notebooks. All of mine are rounded edges and they just, it looks polished. It looks really nice. You can see my notebooks in here. They're all rounded edges. It is completely not necessary, but I like the look of them. So let me grab. Okay, here is a corner rounder. I got this on Amazon. I think it was $4.98, it's like $4 to add on as an item, it's just a little corner rounder. Whoa, excuse me. You stick the paper in, you cut it, and then the corner is rounded. So yeah, it takes a few minutes to go through if you're making all five of these notebooks, but I just think it makes a really nice edge. And I use this for scrapbooking and for making photo albums all the time. So this $4 investment has served me well and I love it. So if you are gonna be making notebooks all the time, then these are the three items I suggest you get. A corner rounder, it's about five bucks. The paper stapler, 20 to $30. And then uh, the, corn, the paper cutter. Did I say paper stapler? Whatever. The paper cutter, 20 to $30. And then the long arm stapler is gonna be seven to $15, depending on what you get. And I will provide links down below for all of these items so that you can get them. But really, all you need is a pair of scissors, so don't let the technology and putting these together scare you off. All you need is a pair of scissors. You can cut them out, put them in, but a couple of these items make it easy. They're very affordable. Um, and then you can have, so let me put this back in, I'll show you. So this just slips right in. And I mean, the beautiful thing is, once I completely fill up my gratitude journal, oh look, I have another one that I can cut and put in here. And it's awesome. So that's what I love about these. So then now with a little bit of work, it took me one evening to put these all together. I have got all my different notebooks and it's really not that big a deal once you do these a couple times. It's no problem. So let me know though, you're welcome to comment below. If you have any questions, you can send me an email about how these work, how to put them together. I am happy to answer it for you, but all in all, it's a pretty simple, easy process. So I can't wait for you guys to share. You gotta come find me on Instagram. Share your pictures of your finished Spiritual Disciplines binders. I cannot wait to see. And go down below and I'll share all the links for where you can get these items. Okay, ladies, so I'm gonna show you today how to print your notebooks out. Now, I think this is the hardest step of the process. So once you have this done, once you have it figured out, it is smooth sailing from here. And then in the next video, I'm gonna show you how to assemble your notebooks. It does take a little bit of elbow grease to assemble them, but I think the printing is the hardest part. And so once you get over this hurdle, it is smooth sailing, I promise. So what you are gonna do is you're gonna follow these instructions. And I am using a Mac. So whether you're using a Mac or a PC, some of the options might look a little differently and it depends on the program you're using as well. So I am using Adobe Acrobat to print these and there is a free version of Adobe if you wanna download that and use those. But if you're printing, wherever you're printing that you can pull up a PDF is fine. You're just gonna look for some of these, some of the language that I'm gonna show you in the print box. So what you wanna do, if you're having any trouble finding out how to print, is I'm gonna show you the language in just a second to use. And then what you can do is just Google how to do short edge, short bind printing in whatever program you're using. And I'll show you the language in just a second. But if you are having any trouble, Google's your best friend. That's how I originally figured out how to do this. I had a little trouble figuring out how to print these. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to wherever your print button is, and then it's gonna bring up your print dialog box here. And basically the thing that you wanna look for is your two-sided printing options. That's all we pretty much care about is the two-sided printing options. So for me, this little box down here, printer, opens up the more advanced features. Okay, so you can see right here, when you go in here, I have 
two-sided printing option. So you're gonna hit two-sided and then that's gonna pop up these options down here. My computer defaults to long-edged binding, but what you want is short-edged binding. So what's that? what that is describing is it's describing how it's going to print double-sided. So you want the short-edged so that when the pages print out, they're both facing the right direction. So that's all I have to select is two-sided, short-edged binding, and then I hit print and that's the only thing I need and then it's gonna print these out in the correct order. So it's actually really simple, but finding those options is sometimes difficult. Okay guys, I hope that you loved that. I hope that was really good to just give you an idea of how to get these printed and how to assemble your notebook. So if you guys have any other questions about anything we talked about today, about the different notebooks, where I buy anything, different sizes, how to use them, please comment down below. I'd love to make more Traveler's Notebook videos in the future, so let me know if you have any questions. And then if you want to check out our Spiritual Disciplines Notebook, come on over to joyfilledhomeplanner.com and you can find out where to get these. And then when you get access to them, you'll also get access to these videos as well so that you can go back and refresh yourself if you forget how to print them out and use them or go hop on the Etsy, find your printables somewhere and start making your traveler's notebooks. And let me know if you have any questions and I will be back here with you guys soon for some more planning and traveler's notebook videos.